hello guys welcome to our channel once again today on our biology revision series we'll learn about the cell so ensure to stay to the end of this video as we have relevant information for you so the cell is basically the building block of all living things and it's defined as the smallest structural and functional unit of an organism so every single living organism we know about is made up of cells all right so we'll go ahead and take note of these points number one all living things are made up of cells so number two cells can either be eukaryotes or prokaryotes so eukaryotic cells are complex and they include both animals and plants whereas the prokaryotic cells are just the smaller simple cells like the bacteria so number three eukaryotes are organisms that are made up of eukaryotic cells so what really is a eukaryotic cell so eukaryotic cells are simply cells with a definite nucleus that is bound by a membrane okay so on the other hand the prokaryote is simply a prokaryotic cell so what's a prokaryotic cell so a prokaryotic cell is simply a cell without a true nucleus so they also lack membranes to in their organelles um, one thing to take note of is this prokaryotic cells are usually unicellular organisms that means they are made up of a single cell on the other hand eukaryotic cells can be unicellular or multicellular which means they can be made up of a single cell or multiple cells so the cell is made up of different parts which are called subcellular structures otherwise also known as cell organelles so let's go ahead and discuss the subcellular structures in plants and animals so basically we have some organelles that we can see in both plants and animals and then a few other organelles that are unique to just the plants alone so try as much as possible to understand and remember all these structures is that okay so it will help you so much in your biology examinations so it's very important you know all of them as well as their functions so we start with the first one which is the nucleus so the nucleus contains the genetic materials and then controls the activities of the cell so the cytoplasm the cytoplasm is a gel-like substance where most of the chemical reactions within the cell happens it contains the enzymes that actually controls these chemical reactions so the next is the cell membrane so the cell membrane holds the cell together and then control controls what goes into the cell and what actually goes out of the cell too the next is the mitochondria so the mitochondria is actually where the respiration takes place most times it's referred to as the powerhouse of the cell because that's where energy is generated within the cell we also have the ribosomes so the ribosomes are there for protein synthesis so that's where protein is made in the cell so we have a few other organelles that are also just unique to the plants the plant also has an additional cell wall which covers up the cell membrane so the cell wall is more like a rigid structure made up of cellulose and it supports it supports and strengthens the plant 
So we have the vacuole, which most times is centrally placed. So it's it's actually a permanent vacuole in the plants. The permanent vacuole in plants actually contains the cell sap and a weak solution of sugar salts. So we also have chloroplasts. Chloroplasts are there for photosynthesis because the chloroplast actually contains the chlorophyll and the chlorophyll is what gives the plant its green color. So the chlorophyll is there to aid for photosynthesis. So let's also talk about the prokaryotic cells because both these plants and animals are uniquely um, eukaryotic cells. So let's talk about the bacteria as a prokaryotic cell. The bacteria might just look a bit like this. So having a structure like this, we can we can actually see the different organelles within the structure. So here is the cytoplasm. So we have the cell membrane. We have the cell wall. We also have the single strand of DNA here, which sometimes can be referred to as a nucleoid. Then we also have the plasmids here. It's actually a ring of DNA too. So let's go ahead and take this revision exam for your biology. So if you ask the question, give two differences in structure between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. So you can feel free to pause this video and try out this question on your own. All right. So the major differences here we have that the prokaryotic organisms lack true nucleus whereas there is a nucleus in the eukaryotic organisms and they are membrane bound so prokaryotic organisms also lack mitochondria so the eukaryotic organisms have mitochondria which serves as the powerhouse of the cell all right guys so that will be all for this class in short to join our telegram channel for the examination updates if you are new to this channel also in short to share this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you enjoyed the video see you next time